The question I'm going to answer today is should I use bubble wrap or a bamboo mat? My answer to this would normally be use whatever you already have at home. But having said that, if you do have a lot of tools at your disposal, I do have a couple of tips. Come with me. Rolling is one of the most frequently used methods in wet felting. Basically, you roll up the piece of felt and use back and forth movements to apply pressure to it. The advantages of this method are it can be used for a wide variety of items. It's not as aggressive as kneading or strong rubbing, so it's perfect for delicate pieces like Nuno felted scarves, for example. It's easy to control and the pressure is applied evenly. But it's slow, so you'll need patience and strength if it's a big piece. Felt makers normally use two tools for rolling. One for the exterior, that can be a bamboo mat, a sheet of bubble wrap, a plastic mat, a towel or a cloth. And one for the core. This one can be a PVC tube, a rolling pin or a pool noodle. I'm often asked how I choose between these tools. My general answer would be that you should use whatever you have at home already. But if you do have a lot of tools to choose from, these are some of my tips. If you're working with silk, avoid using a bamboo mat or put something else like a thin plastic between the mat and the silk. I find the silk can get caught in the bamboo and get damaged. If you're making a very thin and delicate felt, like Nuno felt, avoid bubble wrap, especially if it has very big and strong bubbles. I find it leaves marks on thin felt. I recommend a towel for the last phase of fulling, when the felt is nearly ready. In this case, you can use it without the core. For the core, my favorite tool is the pool noodle. But there's nothing like experimenting to find out what your favorite one is.